and here are your paintings in layers right now. I'm putting the metallic paints on and I do that with a brayer like this to get a nice thin even coat and you can see here is the copper and the patina starting to react. The wax will go over this so this is an underpainting. Here is a glimpse into my home studio right now. It's a little messy and I have a lot of cords but it's working and I have great light and I'm happy to be here. Okay, here I am starting to paint the sky blue on the little disc and these are wax with pigment in them and I press those onto the heated palette to get the color and just gonna paint this on here over the metallic paints. Here I am applying beeswax with Damar resin, which is a varnish, and I'm creating an underpainting that I'm going to incise into to create some texture. In between each layer, I have to fuse the paint, which means that it melts and adheres to the absorbent surface. So I'll do that now. This is a heat gun full of wax and it gets really hot. The melt, the beeswax melts at uh, 160 to 220 degrees. And I do this between each layer for each color. Just finished fusing the surface and now I'm incising using a heat resistant plastic tool. And you can see there, I think some texture coming up. Now I'm ready to apply the silver paint. And this is going over the wax. And this is a paint that is real metallic. Um, particles and this one's called the pewter and it's an indoor outdoor paint and it actually can withstand the elements and so I love using this because it creates a beautiful metallic finish. I painted on the first layer of the deep purple and now I'm going to fuse it. And here are the finished paintings. The layers aren't glued yet, but I just wanted to kind of show what they look like now with the encaustic paint. 